Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of these Grant 10 ounce Pro Fight gloves. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing an unboxing of a brand new pair of 10 ounce Grant Pro Fight gloves. Now, ironically, I've never done a review, yet alone an unboxing uh, of a pair of their fight gloves. I've done reviews on their training gloves, both in lace up and Velcro, um, and a couple of different sizes that you can check out on my channel, uh, but never uh, did the fight gloves. And to be honest with you, I never really felt like I ever had a need to get these gloves, especially in the past couple of years. Uh, when there were smaller Mexican uh, companies that were coming out with their fight gloves, which to me were very similar <clears throat> to the Grant fight gloves, which I've, I've seen before in person, just never had my own pair. Um, you know, whether it's Salvador, No Boxing, No Life, Leaders USA, um, you know, uh, New Sporting, uh, and I'm sure I'm forgetting others, but so that because of that, I really never had a need to really want to purchase a pair of Grant gloves. You guys know how expensive they are. But, you know, in the end, I said, what the heck? I might as well get myself my own pair uh, to see how they perform, the quality, and, uh, and eventually I can compare these to the Salvadors and some of the other uh, fight gloves that are out there that are made in Mexico to see if um, there's a big difference in quality or performance between these and the others. Uh, because I know Grant is kind of, when it comes to this style of a Mexican glove, has the biggest name um, in the boxing game. And, and we see a lot of the professional fighters still use these um, till, till today. So, um, you know, that definitely has it going for them. So let's go ahead and open this up and see how these look. Uh, one thing to, to mention is that anytime I've ordered a pair of Grant gloves, um, it's always came from the same address. So for those of you that are wondering if, you, if they're authentic or not, I've always gotten them um, from the address in Monarch Beach, California. So Grant Worldwide, 14 Monarch Bay Plaza. That's the same address I've always received my gloves from when it came to ordering directly from Grand. For those of you that are wondering where to get the Grands from, there's really only one of two ways to do it. You can go directly through Grant. They have their Instagram, their Facebook, uh, but to order gloves from them, you actually have to email them at sales at grantworldwide.com. Um, that's really the only way to reach out to them. Why they haven't had a website made, I have no, no clue. Uh, I don't really think they ever will create a website. If they wanted to, they probably would have by now. So I wouldn't bet on that. Um, and the only, only other way is secondhand through like eBay or maybe a private seller that's selling a pair. And that's really the only way to get them. And I, I think the reason why they do that is they don't want to saturate the market with their gloves and kind of keep them uh, more of like a boutique and not everybody has them. So it kind of drives um, the, the demand up, but it keeps the supply low, supply and demand, right? So I'm um, gonna go ahead and open this up. Box. Nice. There's a little bit of wrapping paper in there. And here's the actual gloves. And uh, there you have it. So another thing is you can see the gloves are wrapped in, I wanna say vacuum. Uh, this vacuum plastic it's uh because if it was vacuumed it would actually be like hugging against uh but the authentic gloves i've always received from grant they don't actually come like in a ziploc or like a clear ziploc bag they actually come in a sealed bag so again aside from their address um that's something i would look at also just to make sure that they come in this sealed plastic bag um you also notice that this is their newer uh version or model of the fight glove where it has that triple thumb uh on there so uh, there you have that. And let's go ahead and open these up. See how they look. Once you open them, so no turning back now. The plastic is open. Go ahead and throw these to the side. It definitely has that strong leather smell that I'm used to with Grant gloves. And I will say this about Grant, man. They do have a beautiful looking glove. You know, in terms of when you compare their gloves to other, other brands, uh, you know, their logo is pretty iconic. It's one of the best logos you'll ever see when it comes to boxing equipment. So I, I love the fact that the logo looks really clean. One thing you also notice is the, uh, the gloves on the Grant, and I'll call them the Grant Man. The Grant Man actually has red gloves on. 
and I, I don't think the old versions have that red on there. I think they're black as well. So that's kind of a like, nice added detail. Um, so again, another thing you'll notice too, I'm gonna go ahead and put one down. We can kind of dissect <clears throat> this right side is, uh, the fight gloves always have a flat cuff and, and it has almost like this patent, um, it's not leather, like a patent plastic cover that covers the actual, um, almost like a silk or rayon material patch. So it says Grant, made in Mexico, um, and then it has a plastic that actually goes over that. So it's actually stitched in with the plastic on the actual um, Grant logo or the Grant patch. So just something to look for. It does say 10 ounces right there. Um, I'd say that the back of the wrist has maybe a quarter of an inch of padding. The leather on here looks fantastic, smells great. Um, there's a logo. Again, the logo is silver, black, and the Grant guy has uh, red gloves. And the padding on here, for those of you guys who are wondering, I'd say it's very rival Guerrero HDF-ish. So you could tell, I don't know if they use horse hair with foam in this or if it's a layered foam, but you can definitely tell that it's kind of in between a puncher's glove and a protective glove. And again, uh, it feels like there's like a piece of, I don't know if it's latex or a, a harder type of a foam that is gonna be what makes contact with the punch surface or whatever you're punching. So you have that. Um, you have the triple thumb, which uh, Grant says is globally patented. Um, to what degree, what does that mean with their competitors? I don't know, because I've seen a lot of other brands use the triple thumb design. And I don't know from a legal standpoint what that even means, but there you have it, black, white, and red, which looks good. Um, white attached thumb for the thumb attachment. And uh, here's just kind of the stitching on the edges outside. Um, the leather has a very, like a, almost like a gloss-like look to it. And I think that's part of the appeal with the gloves aesthetically is that leather looks nice and shiny and it looks clean. So, you know, obviously it's a beautiful looking glove. Um, you do have some ventilated holes on the thumb. Uh, white piping, white piping around the thumb and double stitching throughout with white stitching the grip bar. It's nice and dense, has a good feel to it. And the inside liner, just pull these laces out. So long, flat white laces with plastic tips at the end, unlike winning, which are cut open. They're not, they don't have any tips on them. Let's go ahead and open the gloves up. And again, the leather throughout the entire glove, whether it's on the palm side, palm facing or rear facing of the glove has that same shiny sheen to it. And the liner is a nice smooth satin liner as well. It's not a canvas style liner on the inside. So you have that nice smooth satin liner. And then you also have the tag here from Grant, which says made in Mexico. So you have that as well. So let's go ahead and put my hands in here. Let's see how these feel. All right. And uh, yeah, they feel great. I mean, you slide your hands into the gloves um, you have really nice positioning with your with your hand in position. Nice deep finger compartment. Perfect thumb. You know, I've never ever had a complaint in regards to the thumb position or how it feels with Grants. They've always done a really nice job with that. Um, you know, it is a 10 ounce fight glove, so the depth of the finger compartment feels good. Not too wide and not too narrow. And it has a, a pretty broken in feel. I think I, this will break in a little bit more. Uh, as I use these in training, but it feels really good and you get that nice feel uh, and nice flat punch surface. You can see how flat that is. So you make sure that you land on your two front knuckles when you use them. Uh, but overall, yeah, I, I have no complaints in terms of the comfort of the gloves. That's my right hand. Let's go ahead and try out the left glove. See if there's any difference between the two when it comes to the comfort. Open these laces up. And again, these are fight gloves, so you're not gonna be so concerned about like wrist support. Um, if anything, you'd probably be using these sparingly for light bag work, hitting the mitts. And then obviously if you're getting into a fight, you know, pro fight, then you'll probably be using these for your fight. And again, these feel really good as well. Nice deep finger compartment. 
You know, one thing about these gloves is you can tell there's an emphasis on the ergonomics of your hand. And they really put that emphasis on making sure that you can really make a nice tight fist with this glove. Thumb positioning is really good. And just like the left glove, that nice flat punch surface when you land. And this is a beautiful looking glove overall. So I'm definitely curious to see how these perform. I'm gonna be using this in my training. Um, using this for mitt work probably is gonna be the majority of the training. I'll, I'll probably hit the heavy bag with this a little bit to see how these perform. And, uh, but overall, they're a beautiful looking glove. Uh, Price-wise, I believe these gloves are like a, are about like 550 bucks if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think the price went up a little bit because of like uh, not the um, obviously the inflation that we're looking at right now. Uh, so obviously, pricing-wise, we all know it grants expensive. It's, you know, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, so you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. I guess the big next question is going to be: Is it worth it at the price point? Uh, especially compared to what's out there nowadays in, in regards to these Mexican fight gloves. But, you know, they're beautiful gloves. They feel great. And I'm sure they be, will perform very well. Uh, but there you have it. 10 ounce Grant Pro Fight Gloves. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. Um, I'll put the email address in the description box as well as Grant's uh, social media links um, in the description box for you guys to check out. And again, at sales at grantworldwide.com uh, is really the only way that I know that you can order directly from them for an authentic pair of these grant gloves. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.